rock star cartoonist by Michael Lyons. I watch the ripples change in size, but never leave the stream of warm impermanence. So the days flow through my eyes, but still the days seem the same, just the same, quite the same. Changes. David Bowie. Rockstar Cartoonist by Michael Lyons. Two thousand and six. But 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 Benny and the Jets. Benny and I share an office. He's proofing the Ojibwe in Dog and Maingan. It's my first children's book, and it took me all summer to illustrate it. We're still still singing with Will a lot. They call us the Leech Lake Tribal College Singers. Willie calls us Benny and the Jets. Dog in my ingun. People are starting to notice how the boss and I flirt. There's nothing going on, but when she suddenly leaves her husband and goes into hiding, the college president calls me at home. Don't come in today. He's got a gun and they say he's looking for you. Oh, terrific. Once again, once I think it's safe enough to go out in public again, I start the Wednesday night open mic at the Palace Casino. A 78 year old country and Western guitarist named Cal Funk starts to play with me every time and soon we're co-hosting. Rambling fever, the kind that can't be measured by degrees. He's been playing guitar for over 65 years and it shows. I can see how much I still have to learn. I didn't want to leave Benny and Will, but the job at the tribal college is just unbearable. This place is like one big dysfunctional family and I want out. Once I realized I can cash out my retirement and have $8,000 in my hand, I quit my job. See ya. I'm finally living the dream. I don't have a job, I have lots of money, and I can work on my next book all day long if I want. Two thousand and seven. Don't you forget about me. I'll be alone dancing. You know it, baby. The money runs out much quicker than I thought. And by spring, I'm teaching an Ojibwe language and culture class at an alternative high school in Bemidji. My class is all Indian, and we kill time talking about our lives, watching Indian movies, reading Sherman Alexi novels, listening to singers and rappers and drawing. I bring my guitar in and sing a song about boarding schools. I want to go home. One of the kids has tears in her eyes. I'm starting to see what kind of adult I'm becoming by how these kids treat me. 2008. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. I'm tired of funerals. Benny, Will, and Cal are all gone. Of all the musicians I've ever known, you guys were the coolest. More than that, you guys are my greatest teachers, and you never knew that. I really miss you. 2009. No dark sarcasm in the classroom. Teachers, leave them kids alone. They call me Mr. Lyons at Walker High School, which is good because I don't get asked questions like, have you ever smoked pot? Or are you gay? like I do when I let them call me Michael. I'm an education, Indian education director, and I teach two sections of Anishinaabe studies. The kids are your average, rugged, noisy high school kids from the res. I tell them a little about myself. They talk about life at the school and growing up in Onagam. 
This place sucks. The teachers are fucking racist, man. It's finally summer, and I'm directing a program for a bunch of little kids in Onagam. We play kickball, draw cartoons, go swimming, ride bikes, and practice for the play I wrote. Little Cutie has 13 speaking parts, 11 costumes, and a complicated set design. I must be out of my mind. June 25th, Michael Jackson dies. People make child molestation jokes. I start crying in an aisle at the Holiday Station store when I hear Man in the Mirror on the radio. Little Cutie, the stage production is a successful, is a success. The girls are wonderful. We have a cast, pu cast party at the pizza place downtown and my star actress gets sick. The next day a rumor spreads that Mr. Lyons tried to poison Taya. I don't feel so good, Mr. Lyons. It is the least offensive rumor I've heard about myself all summer. Two thousand and ten. Ooh child. Things are gonna be easier. Ooh child. Things are gonna be brighter. It's getting ridiculous how much attention I elicit at school these days. There he is, Mr. Lyons, Mr. Lyons. Hey, Mr. Lyons. Boujou, Mr. Lyons, boujou. Hello, hello, nice to see you. How's it going, buddy? All right, kids, have a great day. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Mr. Lyons, Mr. Lyons, Mr. Lyons, Mr. Lyons. This year's play is going to be Omix Blood. It's about a little girl who is half elf and half vampire. Her best friend is an alien human hybrid disguised as a mummy. I play the evil Santa Claus who runs up, who rounds up runaway elves. Oh my, I think Steven is an alien. Surprise. An elder in Onagon pulls me aside and tells me I shouldn't make fun of Santa Claus. Don't you believe in Jesus? I finally got enough money for my for a computer and, and a scanner. This is going to revolutionize my cartoon. I can also translate the plays into little young reader books for the kids. I'll get a kick out of that. 